there is nothing worse than getting ready for a season and then having one of your players suffer a season-ending injury. But, as they say, the show still must go on. Welcome to Believe Stock. My name is Joe, partnering with BewareTheStampede.com. Go to BewareTheStampede.com for all of your Buffalo Bills news. But what we want to get into today is another free agency edition of Believer's Talk. So again, we have you covered throughout free agency, throughout uh, training camp. We had you covered through training camp. We're going to do another breakdown of the full training camp session here coming up. And we're also going to keep you up to date on all preseason news, the cuts, Whoever we sign, we'll have you update right here on Believers Talk. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about Jerron Jones, tack, uh, offensive lineman, I should say, listed as a tackle. Um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. This is obviously to replace Leadron Waddle. Leadron Waddle was injured earlier this week in camp. I believe it was Sunday. He was injured at camp, and he is going to be out for the season. So the Buffalo Bills place him on IR and that opens up a roster spot we fill it by picking up Jerron Jones Jerron Jones is 6'6 320 pounds originally from Rochester New York so he signed uh the dotted line just yesterday participated in camp and the cool thing was his mom was able to get off of work and then uh, come down to training camp to watch her son play for the Buffalo Bills. And guys, he's kind of been journeyman throughout the NFL. But let's talk about his college career first. Now, Jerron Jones was uh, a member of the University of Notre Dame. That's where he played his football. And at the University of Notre Dame, he actually played on the defensive line. And while on the defensive line, he recorded 122 tackles. Or I'm sorry, yeah, 122 tackles, 20 tackles for a loss. 4.5 sacks and three forced fumbles in his five seasons at Notre Dame. Was undrafted free agent in 2017. He was picked up there by the New York football giants, New York, New Jersey giants, if you watch this channel. Uh, and then he spent some time on the Seahawks and Cowboys practice squad in 2017. It was during that time in 2017 that he transitioned from a defensive lineman to an offensive lineman, mostly considered a tackle in the NFL. Although, other than practice squad play, he really has not seen any time on the field. You know, last year he was with Tampa Bay. Uh, uh, during for a practice squad playing some preseason games there uh, and was able to show up his stuff in, in uh, the preseason games in 2018 spent some time with the Redskins in 2018 as well so like I say he's been a little bit of a journeyman starting with the Giants going to the Seahawks Cowboys Buccaneers and Redskins and now back home to the Buffalo Bills so uh, what we expect to see from Jerron Jones again he only had one training camp practice so uh, you know you can say this is definitely a signing just to fill a void a weakness if you will but he he still has a chance to step up and impress some people. Even if he doesn't make the Buffalo Bills 53-man roster, he could put solid tape together. Kind of like he did with Tampa Bay last year, right? Put solid tape together so that way teams continue to stay interested and continue to consider you as maybe the practice on the practice squad since he was an undrafted free agent in 2017. He's still practice squad eligible. So maybe be on the practice squad or maybe make a 53-man roster. Maybe even midway through the season make a 53-man roster depending on how injuries happen. I mean, that's the whole reason why he's on the Buffalo Bills right now is due to the injuries and retirement. We had Asiata retired just last week. Now Waddle goes down with the injury, of course. So obviously we're a little depleted offensive line pick this guy up guy just spent some time with the lions in 2019 the lions released him in may of this year so we know that he's been continuing to keep in shape and get ready for uh the call right to for a team to give him a call and give him a chance so i uh, look forward to see what he could do he will be playing in preseason games i mean you might, might see him in the fourth quarter uh definitely we'll probably see him in that fourth preseason game but definitely want to see what he can do. You know, it's always good to have the depth at the offensive line. We talked about that before. But we hope that by that fourth preseason game, a lot of our guys are healthier. You know, we talk about the Spencer Longs, John Felicianos, even Mitch Morse. Hopefully those guys can get healthy. So that way, you know, we don't really need him to make that 53-man roster. But if he does good enough, he definitely could have a spot on the practice squad. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that Jerron Jones has a chance to make the team and or practice squad if, you know, maybe if he balls out in preseason, something like that, definitely someone you want to keep an eye on as well. Um, but again, he has not played a down in the NFL uh, yet in his career, only been in the practice squad, been on five different practice squads, as I said before, was cut by Lions earlier this year. Um, 
made that position change from defensive lineman to offensive lineman. So you wonder maybe he, he'll make that position change again back to that defensive line if this doesn't work out. You don't exactly know what led to that change. But what I can tell you about this kid is, like I said yesterday, he shows up. Uh, actually, it was funny. He was in Rochester visiting home uh, and then flew back to Dallas because that's where he lives. That's where his job's located at. So you know, he flew up to Dallas. His agent calls him the same day his plane lands in Dallas and says, hey, the Bills want to work you out. I think he was having a workout in either Cleveland or Cincinnati. I forget which one. So since he was close by, he decided to drive over to Rochester. So probably, excuse me, probably Cleveland because Cleveland's closer to Buffalo and Cincinnati is. Um, but anyhow, he drove home, had like a party or a gathering or something like that, and then flew back to Dallas. And then that day, he gets a call saying that the Buffalo Bills want to work him out. So he flies back to B Buffalo to Rochester and then works out for the team, signs the dotted line to be a Buffalo Bill on Tuesday morning, texts his mom and then lets her know that he, he made the team. She gets off of work, like I said, wearing her Notre Dame visor, Notre Dame shirt with a bunch of pictures of him on it and watches her son participate in training camp. So it must have been a great experience for the family. Must have been a great experience for Jerron Jones to get that phone call, although the traveling schedule I'm sure was rough. Uh, but it's good to have him on the team. Hopefully he continues to improve this offensive line. Uh, maybe just continues to get better himself. So again, like I said, either he can make the practice squad here or he can show other teams what he can do and make the practice squad somewhere else. So that's all I have like on Jerron Jones. Let me know what you think about Jerron Jones in the comment section. Again, most people will think he's just a depth signing. I would agree with that. Uh, but you never know what can happen in the NFL. Tomorrow is our first preseason game against the Colts. Hope to have that winner of the contest for you tomorrow as well of that Andre Reid mini football. If you signed up, best of luck to you. We still haven't pulled that random winner yet, but I will let you know when that happens as well. Again, thank you for joining me on Believer's Talk. Again, leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button. Once you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And also like this video. Helps me out a lot. I, I hope to talk to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.